fun. Let's do a video where we stare at my alfalfa hair. Honestly, I don't know why this, it's very annoying. Let's look at this. What is this? Anyway, <laughs> hmm. So most of my video prep is like trying to get this, this hair chunk to cooperate. So let's just pretend that's not there. Um, hi, welcome back to another video. It's not gonna be an unboxing. It's actually going to be like a DC super show recap of sorts. And um, I wanted to show you some of the goodies that I brought home because it's actually been a really long time since I've gone to a pen show and, um, and actually bought a pen. I know that sounds insane, um, but I saw a pen and I was like, okay, this is a pen that I must have. But let me tell you about that. But first, let me say uh, I was there on Friday, August 2nd and Saturday, August 3rd. The show runs from Thursday, August 1st to Sunday, August 4th. Um, I left early on Saturday because I just, I had another commitment, so I had to leave. But at least I was there for a little bit of time and it was super fun. I mean, it always, like all shows are really fun, right? But I find that the more shows I've gone to, I've become more comfortable with them. And uh, because it's, it's really, it can be really overwhelming. There's a lot of people, a lot of sounds. Um, it can be just like, like overwhelming in terms of like your senses and stuff. But um, I've gotten really good at them, I've, like in terms of like, like knowing what I need to do, drinking water, having snacks, um, stopping and sitting so I can recover a bit. And um, also being less shy about talking to vendors and other pen friends. So in that regard, like every time I go to a pen show, it just gets better and better. But uh, Anyway, you don't really want to hear about all that stuff. What you want to see is the fun stuff. So first of all, let me show you. I'm wearing my lanyard. Um, sorry, I think I just hit the tripod. Now it's got my name on it. And um, it came with this yellow one, but nothing wrong with it. It's actually pretty cute. But I have pins all over mine because I saw everybody else putting pins on theirs and I was never really a pin person. And then I realized that I actually had like a whole bunch of pins. So I've got a glow in the dark coochie copy. I've got my Safari Forever because um, I'm a Safari Forever person. Got my Porgs. I've got my David Bowie cat. I got a Sailor Nib pin, which I will tell you about. Um, my Pen Addict pin, my Fountain Pen Day pins. So. This is a work in progress. At some point, this is gonna be so heavy, it's not gonna sit on my neck. But for now, it's really fun and I'm happy with this. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna take this off because it's gonna rattle a lot and I don't want it to make noise for you. But like, it's really silly, but it was really exciting to do this. And then I did my little name tag with all my, with all my stuff, so it's there. Anyway, um, that's, not, that's not the exciting thing, really. So I wrote down, um, my list because I have everything, but I don't want to forget anything. So let's go through my pile and I'll tell you a little bit about my stuff. First of all, Penworld Magazine was there. And if you don't subscribe to Penworld, that's okay. You can always purchase individual copies, but you should subscribe to Penworld because it's fun. And like, it's a nice gift if you're a pen person or if you want to give it to a pen person and yours truly occasionally writes articles in them. So I've actually got articles in both of these. Yay, it's really fun. And um, it's just really cute and they smell really good. You know, you learn about pens. It's like, it's just like the, it's like a simple way to learn about pens if you don't want to do everything on the internet. And now they're, they've got this pen world calendar. Um, it's 15 bucks US. I don't get any commission or anything, I'm just telling you. So it's got the um, Reader's Choice Awards like winners and on each page. So that's fun and it's cute. Like it's not a huge calendar, so it's really cute. I think it's nice. I just wanted to show you guys. I'll put a link to Penworld below so you can check it out. Um, the, the team at Penworld is absolutely lovely. The ladies who come to the shows are just divine and so funny. And so they're actually gonna be at the Dallas Pen Show which is in September, I think it's the 26th and 27th. And uh, you should go check them out. And I also highly recommend the Dallas Pen Show itself because it's a great show. So I got some magazines and then, um, oh my goodness. Like, you know, this is why I wrote stuff down because my list, like my pile is big and I'm like, this is just overwhelming if I don't have a list. So let's go through my list. First up, we have 
as always, uh, the Franklin Kristoff table is like madness because you could try all their um, all their nib grinds. Um, you can see all their pens, and they have stuff that you can't get online, like the prototypes. But um, I don't have a prototype here. But what I do have is a model 46 in the winter pine. The winter pine is this is gorgeous. Like I really like it. So um, beautiful material and it's a number six nib and it's got a special nib on it that I will not show you yet. But if you stay tuned, I will at some point in the very near future, unbox this and show off this nib. Hmm, mystery. What could it be? Not gonna tell you, it's a mystery. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I've also got, um, Atelier Musubi was there and um, they employ uh, persons with disabilities and they do all the work so it's like handmade everything's handmade so like this pen case for example is handmade and 25% of everything they make like every, of all price like purchase like your purchased items goes directly to the workers so you know and the work is fantastic so I like that and I was like oh I'm okay with this I like this I feel good about this and the stuff is awesome so this is the case it's got a button and it's got a little removable or movable divider and it's really pretty there's the case and more excitingly than the case at least in my opinion is their notebooks the notebooks are absolutely divine they've got tomoe river paper in them and like they're they're stunning okay so these are the prototypes that were available at the show and i was like oh these are really nice so let me see there you go the lighting is a bit off sorry um, absolutely beautiful notebooks, more excitingly than that one. That one's beautiful. Meow, but this is a kitty, and you know how I feel about cats. I like him. Um, and then the last one <laughs> is also a cat, but super cute. Um, they're just really nice, and I know it's like, oh, do I need another notebook? Well... <laughs> Actually, I do need another notebook because I actually do go through my notebooks and I freely use them without guilt now. It's not like, oh my god, am I going to be able to do this notebook justice? Anything you put in a notebook is doing it justice as opposed to it just sitting on your shelf not being used at all. So I'm okay with these. They're divine. They're very pretty. And I believe they will be at the San Francisco Pen Show where I will also be. And so I would recommend you check them out. Fantastic stuff for yourself, but also beautiful notebooks for gifts. So just in case you're looking for a gift for someone. Next up, we have an Esterbrook three pen tray. There is a pen inside, but I'm gonna take this pen out. It's not an Esterbrook. These cases are not, they're not, um, they're, they're like, they're hard. They're not removable slots. But like the inside is just wild. I love the inside. And they're really nice. Like they're very classy, very nice color. And it is um, pleather. And I'm looking forward to this. Like I'm curious about it because it was a hundred bucks. And um, so it's not an inexpensive case, but like I want it to last. So we'll see. We'll keep you posted on that one. Next up we have a platinum from Luxury Brands. Now, I've already done something, but uh, where's my platinum? It's in the box. Oh, I really want to get it out. So much work for you. I'm going to get it out. My platinum with a coarse nib because you, if you saw my, vi vi my video, my video on my channel from a couple weeks ago, I did a, an unboxing of um, a platinum Caracusa with a coarse nib, not my pen, but like killer nib. And since then, I just like, I couldn't get it out of my head. So I was like, you know what? Let's take this home. So we did. And, and by we, I mean myself. Um, I got Bungu Box Hatsukoi and it came with that little sailor nib pin that I showed you on my lanyard. Um, this one here. So Hatsuko is pretty tough to find. Like it's not tough to find, but like it sells out because it's such a pretty color. So I was excited to see this one. And I was just like, you know what? I don't need more ink, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Next up we have, <laughs> now let me 
tell you the hilarious story behind this. Um, I have a couple left because I was saving them for this video. What's this? This is a chocolate chip cookie without chocolate chips in it because at the last pen show, no, at the Philly pen show, um, Sandra heard me say that I really like cookies, but I don't, like I like chocolate chip cookies, but I don't want the chips. And she remembered and she made me a whole bunch of chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. That sounds insane, but it's not because they're delicious because they have the nuance of the chocolate without the chips because I don't want the sweet burst of the chip. And they were a lifesaver because at a pen show, everybody forgets to eat or nobody has time to eat. So they totally saved my life because I was like, my blood sugar is crashing hard. And I was like, eat a cookie. And so I did. And they were delicious and they were like amazing. And thank you, Sandra, because that literally saved my life. Fantastic. So I got the cookies, which I'm going to finish now that I have showed you. Um, there was also a chocolatier called Gingy. And uh, I got some fudge and truffles those are long gone but i also got this which is a packet of like squeezable dark chocolate um just like squeeze it into my beak it's going to be fantastic and what else we got um i got a whole bunch of like random swag <laughs> random swag like postcards and a little pad of paper and um, fountain pen day washi tape, which has pandas on it, and stickers and pins and stuff like that. So that stuff is always fun. Like that's like the cute, cutesy stuff you could take away from a pen show. Like that just reminder that you were there. Um, I got some ink samples. I don't want to tell you much about these yet because they're not out yet, but coming soon. And from Van Ness Pens, I've got four of the new Vinta inks. Fantastic. Now, the boxes are horribly overblown, I'm sorry, but, um, blown out, sorry. The colors look really nice. The swap looked amazing. They remind me a lot of the Sailor Studio colors, like with the shading that was coming out of them and stuff. So I haven't tried them yet, but I'm really looking forward to these. Got those. I've got a bottle of the Van Ness White Lightning Ink Additive for use in pore flowing or dry inks to increase flow consistency. Fantastic. I look forward to trying this because I've definitely got um, some inks that are fairly dry and I'm okay with them, but like I like my pens to be gushers, so I'm really excited to try this. We got, let me grab the rest of the stuff here because it's all over here. Um, Galen Leather from Turkey came all the way out and uh, it was really nice to see them and um, they've got beautiful stuff, like beautiful leather work stuff. Now they're also doing these new Tomoe River notebooks. So this is the A5 size. And so you get three notebooks per set. And it also comes with a, uh, a guide and a blotting sheet and a, um, sorry, the guide is like a blotting sheet, but anyway. And it comes with a little writing pad to like soften your writing, which is adorable. And so, I mean, they are leather workers and it makes sense that you can get a little leather writing pad, but it's just, it's a really nice complete package and I, I love it. Fantastic. I love the idea. And in fact, I actually regret not buying a whole bunch more. So <sighs> let's say got that. Now let's do the pens. Okay. The pens. Uh, wait, first I got some rod stock of, uh, flexi, flexi, flexi grand sea foam. Fabulous, like the color. It is from Richard L. Greenwald. So there's that. It's not a pen yet, but at some point it will be. Um, let's do some, I got another pen. Uh, I've always seen these online. These are pens from 18111.com from Yoshi. So I've seen these online and I was like, they're really cute, but I could, I just never pulled the trigger on one. And then I, um, I saw a table and I saw a pen that I liked. And then I was like, you know what? I just bought a pen. Um, I don't, I don't need another one, but anyway, I ended up with this pen anyway. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's got uh, little snowflakes on it with a snow, a small little snowflake roll stop and the snowflakes are glittery and the base of the pen is like a deep swirly blue. And it just made me think of like a Canadian, a Canadian winter, like in the evening when it's snowing and it's like the sky is still slightly lit up and it was just really pretty. And you know what, sometimes you just buy a pen because it's pretty. Because I was like, oh, I don't need another pen. But let's be honest, nobody at a pen show really needs another pen. But I really liked it. So I'm really excited about this. And it's absolutely beautiful, actually. 
I was gonna say beautiful, but I guess beautiful works too. Excited to ink it, and it looks so much better in this light than just like regularly. So there's that. Yay. Now we got a pen from here. Who dat? That's Carolina Pen Company. Jonathan Brooks has been posting incredible things on Instagram forever, and I've seen other friends who have Jonathan Brooks pens. And like, uh, you'll see his materials at like Franklin Kristoff and um, at other, like through other collaborations. And I was always like, I'll get one one day. And I just like, there's so many beautiful options that I didn't know what I wanted. And you know what? I just went to his table on the Friday and I was like, this is beautiful. And then I walked away and then I came back and I just, I ended up with a pen, okay? So first of all, I'll give you a hint. I got rod stock that matches the pen, and there's a reason for this, but this is not the pen, but it pretty. The pen, actually I ended up with two pens. Um, <laughs> the pen that I've got, first of all, you get a little sleeve, which, thank you. Thank you any pen maker who gives me a sleeve instead of a pen box, because I really don't want pen boxes. And this is the pen. So let me see, let me put it in my face here. Um, move my box around. So there you go. Uh, I'm sorry, the lighting is obviously a bit tough to see this. And if I drop the light a bit, maybe you'll be able to see. So it's clear and it has flecks of metallic paint and it's like mermaid and yellow and purple and green and I absolutely love it. And I'm super excited. And I'll be honest, it's been a long time that I've gone, since I've gone to a pen show where I actually bought a pen. Like where I was like excited enough to buy a pen. And it, you know what? It felt really good. This sounds really stupid. And um, it's probably just because like I, I review a lot of pens. So like a lot of pens pass through. Like there's like I get to review stuff that I would never otherwise touch. Like really high-end Mont Blancs and stuff that don't belong to me. And I don't keep them. And I have fantastic friends who loan me their pens. So like I've seen a lot of pens. But um, I'm always like talking myself out of pens. You know, I'm like I don't need it. Like I... I, I can live without it and yeah I don't need a pen and I could live without it but there was just something about this one it reminded me of like those magic wands that have like oil and glitter in them when you were kids and you know what it just spoke to me and I was like done taking it and I did and I love it and I'm really excited about it so I will do a full video on that one soon and here is the more manly version of it which is a black with the deeper flex in there just stunning like, you know from afar just like really unassuming and then you see it up close and you're like okay that's that's gorgeous so I'm really excited about these pens I'm excited about everything that I've come home with or borrowed from friends to come home with um to borrow like to review or whatever it I had a really nice time and um I mean I always have a nice time but like it's nice to see all you guys in person I met so many new people in person which was Honestly, like meeting at a pen show is a bajillion times better than just like chatting on online and it's it's a completely different experience and so many people were so nice and they were like you guys came up to me and you were like, hey, just wanted to meet you and like tell you that we enjoy your videos and stuff. Thank you. You have no idea what it means to me because otherwise I'm literally sitting in a room talking to my camera by myself, <laughs> kind of creepy and kind of sad, kind of weird if nobody's watching. So thank you all for making it a lovely show. I love meeting you guys. Come say hi. We can do stuff. And uh, the next show I will be at is the San Francisco Pen Show where um, my partner and I at Toronto Pen Company, we're actually teaching a whole bunch of workshops. So I'll put in details of all that stuff. And then there's the Toronto Pen Show coming up and the Montreal Pen Show. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming up and I hope to see you guys out there. So yeah, let's wrap this up because... You're probably bored of hearing me ramble, and I'm bored of hearing myself ramble. And so, um, there's also two more pens in here that I cannot show you yet, but they will be launched. Uh, my video will be launched on August 23rd, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned here. Like and subscribe. I'd love it if you would do that. You can find me as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon. And you can also find me out there as Toronto Pen Company for all your nib grinding and modified parallel pilot parallel calligraphy pen needs and more. So thank you guys. 
have a lovely day and we will see you on the next video. Bye.